Hey folks, welcome. Today we're diving into something super exciting. In this video, we're going to explore an amazing website that's a real treasure for lovers of history, geography, and old maps. I'm talking about oldmapsonline.org, a website that's basically a time machine for maps. So if you're ready to dive into an awesome tool, stick with me until the end of this video and let's get started. Oldmapsonline.org is a free online platform that gives you access to a massive collection of historical and old maps from around the world. It's like a geographical time machine that takes you back in time to see how cities, countries, and regions looked in the past. On the left side of the screen, there is a toolbar that lets you filter maps by time period to see maps drawn during those eras. Each map you find usually comes with a direct link to its original source such as university archives or museums, and sometimes you can even download them in high quality. One really cool feature is the ability to compare old maps with modern ones, letting you see how geography has changed over time. For example, you could check how a city has expanded over the past 200 years. This site is perfect for research, studies, or just for anyone curious to explore history from a different perspective. Great! Now, all you have to do is just click on the provided link in the description to enter the website. You can search oldmapsonline.org as well. After entering the website, click the Explorer Maps. After that, you will notice some options show up on the page sides. On the right side, you've got all these incredible old maps for the whole planet and specific countries. And at the bottom, there is a timeline that lets you change the year to observe changes in countries, important figures, wars, and other events. Let's go back to the oldest possible date, which is 4,000 years before Christ. As you can see, there are currently no civilizations in the world. As I move the timeline, you can notice that the first civilizations, including Elam, emerged in Iran and ancient Egypt. As a result, by shifting the timeline, you can see how different regions and civilizations evolve over time and emerge one after the other. And here, the latest changes are shown with the country flags. By clicking on any of them, you can get information about that country. For example, when I click on one of them, information about that nation is displayed, and Wikipedia is the source of it. I click on a couple of them as examples, and the complete description of each nation appears on the left. Even by moving the timeline, you can see how their flags have changed and read more about each country's changes over the years. Next up, there's this ruler tab, which by selecting this option, you can view all the rulers for each country across different historical time periods. If you click on any of them, you can view their information and get their details. By moving the timeline back and forth, you can see the changes. As I move back, the number of rulers is decreased. And while I move back, if I click on each ruler, I can read about them. If you are a lover of history, you'll enjoy this website because it's so interesting and you'll access lots of information with just few clicks.
The next item is people. Here too, it displays famous people from each country, which part of the country each important person was located in, and which city, province, or state they're from. Super detailed. If I zoom out, you can see the famous people all over the world, and by zooming in, the number of people increases. The same as rulers, by clicking on it, you'll access their info. And then there's these battles. Want to know where and when history's big fights went down? This shows every battle region by region, with all the juicy details. As you can see, here we can view the battle's information. When you move the timeline back, you can see what battles occurred, when and how they occurred. For example, the Battle of Dogger Bank in 1696, which you can read about, or the Battle of Marsalia. As you move back, you can see the battles in order. Plus, on the right side you've got Maps Glore. Zoom into any area, like Asia, and it pulls up maps just for that spot. Notice that you don't have to be on the American continent to see maps of Asia. It doesn't show that. A variety of important historical maps for the regions can be viewed. By clicking on each one, that map can be viewed. And most importantly, don't miss the compare option. You can overlay an old map with the modern base map and compare them. Change the base map if you want a better look. Here, I change it to satellite base map. And by adjusting the opacity, you can observe the change over time. You can do the same with another base map. It gives a better understanding. We can see the maps of other countries. Here, I randomly try to display a few maps. There is even a 3D view.
or you can display maps as a document. Actually, this website is a gold mine. You've got access to a huge treasure trove of historical info. Whether you're a history buff, a student, or just curious, oldmapsonline.org has always something for you. Alright guys, what do you think? Have you ever used this website? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you don't miss the next ones. Take care.